Hello dear viewers. I welcome you all to this video. Today we will start with the story The Overcoat by Ruskin Bond. But before beginning the story, we need to find out certain things about the story, like the characters in the story and what is the genre of the story. So, let us find out. This story consists of three characters. First is the narrator. Now, who's the narrator? Narrator is the one who tells a story. And this story is a first person narrative. Now, what does that mean? See, if the narrator is a full participant in the story, the narrative is said to be in the first person. Here, the narrator is also one of the characters who is participating in the story. That is why this story is a first person narrative. And if the narrator is not a part of the story and is only telling the story, then that story is said to be in third person. I hope that this point is clear to all of you. Now, our next character is Julie. Julie is the protagonist of the story. Who's a protagonist? A protagonist is the main character of a story. It is the protagonist around whom the entire story revolves. The protagonist is the primary agent pushing the story forward. The actions and the reactions of the protagonist are responsible for pushing the story forward. Now, we have to find out the genre of the story. What is genre? Genre means a type of art or literature, like you see movies. How do you define genre of a movie? It could be comedy, it could be action, it could be a thriller suspense. So, that defines the genre of a movie. Now, what is the genre of this story? This story is a mystery. A mystery consists of strange and secret things that are difficult to explain. This story, The Overcoat, is a genre of mystery that emphasizes the imaginative and supernatural things. Here, the supernatural things are related to spirits and ghosts. Here in the story, the narrator, who is a young man, has a strange experience on one winter evening. He resides in a quiet hill station and he is new to this place. One evening, he meets a girl. She must be around 16 or 17 years. They attend a party together. But later that evening, she disappears. She is never seen again. What happened? Where did she go? We will have to read the story to find answers to these questions. We will begin the story in the next module.